helping you save green by going green. Welcome to Economical Eco. I'm Mark DiCarlo. I'm Legla Ramos. And today we're talking about kitchen cabinets because eventually everybody ends up in your kitchen, whether it's a party yes. or breakfast. So you want to have nice kitchen cabinet. It's also a major expense of your kitchen, 25, yes. 30 or more percent. Uh, so and it's the biggest visual thing that you see. Right. So how can we save money and still have good quality kitchen cabinets? With cabinets, it's all about the material. Mm -hmm. And we have an expert. Yeah. He's right over here. It's Scott Corson from Showplace Wood. Hello. Hello. Hey, Scott. Thanks for joining us. This is called Liptus Wood. This is called Liptus. Which right. is a species of it's a, it's a species of eucalyptus developed by uh, Weyerhaeuser down in South America. Mm -hmm. um, the trees grow very quickly uh, to the point that you can actually plant the seedling and harvest the wood in about 15 years as opposed to a cherry lumber or maple lumber which might grow 50 to 70 years. Liptus actually is a very hard tree as hard as maple, you were saying. It has the same, it has the same physical density as a maple cabinet. So it's not like a, a softwood lumber that can grow quick where right. you can dent it with your fingernail. Right. This liptus wood, you can you can bang it pretty hard and you won't dent it. So it's And, it's and very just tough. so you know, maple is what they use for bowling alleys, so it's very hard wood. You can make kitchen cabinets out of pretty much any kind of wood, right? What's popular now? Well, today's cabinets, uh, maple mm -hmm. is probably the most popular species across okay. the board. And then you can go a little higher end, which would get you in the neighborhood of cherry cabinets or maybe even quarter sawn white oak cabinets. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the low end wood? Low end wood for us right now is red oak. Okay. And actually, but the cabinets themselves also are often made out of, say, a plywood or maybe even an MDF medium density fiber board, uh -huh. um, which is like a particle board. And I don't think you want that, right? You, you no. use the kitchen cabinets every day. You're slamming them, you're banging them, you're cooking in here. If you try, I mean, I'm all for saving money, but if you try and skimp on, on stuff that you use all the time, you're going to end up replacing it in two years, right? I think the, the key here is value. Right. And that's where we shine. We get the toughness of the materials. Mm -hmm. We get a lifetime warranty, so you know the things are going to hold up forever. Right. And you get the beautiful wood. And just from a convenience standpoint and, and from a quality standpoint, these cabinets came in big giant boxes. And when you unwrap them, they were done. And we basically had to put them together like Legos. Right. It's like you, prefab. Yeah. I mean, you have to level them. And there's an art to putting in the cabinets. Just ask Ricky Delgado, the guy who did it. But they're done. It's not like we had to sand them and stain them and stuff. Right. That would be a huge pain in the butt. And, and uh, I'm sure you could buy cabinets cheaper that aren't finished, but then you got to go through all that hassle. So tell me more about the stains that you guys use on your cabinets. Well, the finish that goes on Showplace cabinets, really, it's a multi-step process. It starts with the, the treatment of the wood itself. The sanding process is very important. And then it goes through the process of putting color on and putting the, uh, the protective coating. Our finishes are a catalyzed varnish. So it's a high solids content, it cures quickly, and it's very, very durable. This is a, a pantry. And again, we were talking earlier about stuff in the back that you can't get to if you can't see it. These come all the way out. There's not an inch of dead space in this pantry. And it, that's important because there's not a lot of space in this kitchen to begin with. Silverware drawers got this double, double dealy here so you can store twice as much stuff. Yep, making full use of that drawer. Lots of times people keep their garbage underneath the sink and it gets smelly and wet. Nuh uh, look at that. Regular garbage and recycling. Good for the planet also. Five cents a bottle. Get your money back right there. Tell me what this is called here. Well, this is a tip-down drawer front bin, and it's made exactly for what you're using it for, which is storing your dish cleaning items. Right. This is really great, because we have this big space back here that you can't really get to, so we put in these two Lazy Susans, tons of big storage for pots and pans and such. Every inch used. Every kitchen needs a good rack. And this spice rack, very cool. We put it right next to the stove, and you can store tons of stuff that otherwise would be on top of the stove. These pots and pan things come out so you don't have to futz around looking for the right pot. Mm -hmm. Just a really well-designed, easy-to-cook-in kitchen. 
kitchen cabinetry, as we discussed, a lot of different options out there. We went with the liftus wood because it's rapidly renewable. It's from a managed plantation. There's not a lot of waste because it's such a straight tree. It's also been able to introduce indigenous species back into uh, Brazil, which is a nice side right. eco effect. And we got them from Showplace Wood Products because they're guaranteed for life. They're priced in the middle of the, the wood spectrum, so they're not gonna bust your budget. Made in America. Made in America, they look lovely, and they have all kinds of really cool doodads in there. And they were able to maximize your space here. Every inch of this kitchen is used for storage or for cooking, it's fantastic. Or even some other things. <laughs> right. So it's economical and ecologically sound. Can we agree? Yes. <sighs> the green princess has come over to the dark side. I love it. Well, you need kitchen cabinets. Yeah, you do. Scott, thank you so much. That's Scott Carson from Showplace Wood Products.